Well, thank you uh, very much, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when this uh, election was called, I, I felt that it was needed to provide Alberta's government with the clear authority to respond to the challenging circumstances that we face as a province as a result of the collapse of, uh, of oil prices. I felt strongly then, and I feel strongly today, that those decisions properly belong to Albertans and not to me uh, as their Premier. Neither I nor the government I led were elected to make uh, the tough choices and the tough decisions that are required by our current economic circumstances. Albertans needed to make those choices, those decisions, and they have now done so and have uh, chosen our collective future. And while I am uh, personally saddened by the decision, the voters are always right in our democracy, and so it is this evening. I congratulate Rachel Notley and uh, the NDP party on their success uh, this evening. Rachel obviously ran uh, an excellent campaign and clearly has the confidence of Albertans, and I have spoken to her this evening and wished her the very best. I would also like uh, to congratulate Brian Jean and the Wild Rose Party on their success this evening, and I have also spoken uh, with Mr. Jean. I would, however, um, like to speak in particular to the members of my own party, many of whom are here this evening. You know, I've been a member of this party since I was a young man, and uh, I share your disappointment. I share the disappointment of members of our party across the province. I want to thank everyone uh, in the Progressive Conservative Party for their confidence and the trust that they've placed in me over the last eight months. It has been a trying time uh, for all of us. Um, in particular, I want to thank um, all of our candidates and the thousands of volunteers who worked so hard on behalf of our party uh, during this election campaign. I have never seen uh, a team of men and work, women work so hard, and my heart goes out to everyone who worked so hard and was unsuccessful. And Karen and I, uh, in particular, would also like to thank everyone in our party for your um, unfailing kindness to us uh, during my time as leader, but also during the past uh, 28 days and some uh, 10,000 kilometers across the province. As the leader of the uh, party, I accept responsibility for tonight's outcome. I also accept uh, responsibility for the decisions that led up to this evening. You know, Karen, um, Karen reminded me this morning, actually, that a year ago when I made the decision to uh, return to public life, the outcome was um, anything but certain. She reminded me that I, what I, actually what I said at that time, that I would not have been able to live with myself if I didn't return to provincial politics and do what I could to try to set things right in our province. I told her that um, I had no intention of uh, living the rest of my life with the regret that um, I didn't make the attempt, and so I ran. Clearly, however, clearly, however, my contribution to uh, public life is now at an end. It is time for me to uh, dedicate my time to the other responsibilities I have as a husband and as a father and a grandfather. Accordingly, uh, I have resigned as the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party uh, of Alberta, effective immediately, and furthermore, I will step aside as the elected member of the Legislative Assembly for Calgary Foothills. You know, there is no, um, there's no greater fortune in life than to be a Canadian and an Albertan. We are all so very, very lucky. It's been a great privilege for me to serve uh, our province uh, in elected office. And I leave with the confidence that um, the determination and the resilience of Albertans will overcome whatever challenges we face now or in the future. I wish you all the very best. And I say uh, thank you, good night, and God bless. Thank, thank you. you.